Hi, I'm Tom Sickney, Golf Magazine Top 100 Instructor, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about course management, understanding what the, sh the shot and the sight is telling you. Okay, here I am. I've got a decent lie in this little rock. I have a little depression. I have a pen that's cut short. Now, what could I do? Well, I could stand up here and I could play it like a bunker shot, play it up in my stance and fly it the whole way there. Okay, that looks great on style points, but what happens if I miss that shot? What happens if I come in here and I go under it and it goes a little short? It funnels down to this collection area and as you can see it almost went in the bunker. Now, what do I have in front of me? I have a little bit of mown down area. So you know, a higher percentage shot might be, from this decent lie, might be me putting it in the middle to the back of my stance and punching it into that slope and, bop, and bobbling it up there. You have to figure out what works best. Don't automatically always grab your 60 degree sand wedge and throw your lob shots in there because this is a prime example. If you hit it short, it's probably going to end up in the bunker. And if you hit up in the bunker, that long rough over there, instead of making three, four, or five, you're going to make four, five, six, and seven. So remember, take the time to look at the situation, to survey the situation. Sometimes the low road is much better than the high road. And sometimes it's exactly the opposite. Only experimentation will help you to understand.